Check out this stunning classic. It's a Kawasaki ZRX 1100. We figured we'd let the five-time Isle of Man veteran here, Bill Blythe, ride it, because he's uh, he actually rides one of these daily. He's got like, he has two of them, actually. This one is an absolute dime piece owned by another friend of ours, Gerard. It's been on display in the New England Motorcycle Museum. If it looks familiar, it's been here for years. And uh, Gerard called us up, decided to liquidate some of his collection to raise some funds for another project. It's going up for sale. Bid high, bid often. These things are highly collectible, highly desirable. They're a hoot to ride. And it's, they're tw it's 23 years old now. So to find any 23-year-old bike in mint condition like this is hard, but most ZRX-11s were flogged into submission. This thing's barely broken in with 15,520. What a machine. Show him, zoom over. That's, that's Billy's daily rider over there. He rides that rain. It doesn't matter. He rides it in the rain, rides it all the time. Yeah. What do other ones have? Well, a total of 100,000 miles on two of them. So we'll, I better hand the mic to him. He's forgot more about this bike than I'll ever know about it. Oh, there is another video where we disclose everything that's been done to it. This will be, uh, um, we'll put that in, in the description in the eBay ad. But like I said, bit high, bit off, and they don't come along this nice. Tell us what you know about this classic. Oh, man. Ken, this thing, uh, boy, getting on this bike, it's so beautiful. Uh, I'm used to my bike that's got 40,000 miles on it. This one is just barely broken in with only 15,500 miles. It is a, it's a mint showpiece, really. Fantastic motorcycle. I, I love this model, and I didn't know I was gonna love it until I got one. And uh, once I rode it, I, I thought, I, I've never had a better motorcycle. It really is so robust. Uh, it's, it's a motorcycle that really only needs a three-speed transmission because the engine is so strong, and I ride it. I ride my own that way. I go first, third, fifth. And it, it really doesn't need to have second and fourth gear because it's so strong. Uh, Yep, and uh, uh, always runs perfectly. This motorcycle is uh, so beautifully designed. And I, I think Kawasaki really didn't mean to have this model happen. It just kind of came out of spare parts, but it turned into an instant classic as soon as they put this out. It's reminiscent of the Eddie Lawson replica from the yes, 70s. Yes. And then beyond that, uh, another model that Kawasaki had in between, and then the ZRX came along. So it's a replica of a replica. And uh, you know, high performance brakes, six piston calipers times two on the front. So you stop as good as you go. And this is a heavy motorcycle. Um, not, uh, it's not a lightweight motorcycle, I should say. It's a, kind of a middle weight as far as that goes. It's very stable, well planted on the road, goes around corners beautifully, stops on a dime and gives you a nickel change. I, I like to say that, but it's absolutely the truth. This bike has, you know, great uh, tires on it, so that you know it sticks to the road properly. Uh, you know, and with those awesome brakes, that's as a racer one of the most important things is how fast does the bike stop? Yeah. How quick can you stop it? You know, uh, you know the brace swing arm, so that that adds to the handling qualities of the bike, uh, and that's you know direct descendant of a race uh, swing arm. And uh, you can adjust the ride height and the chain with this uh, this cam here. Um, so you, you can actually make the bike steer differently by moving the axle to a different position. Ingenious. And to adjust the chain, you basically loosen these bolts, one on each side, turn the cam, and, and done. And you tighten the bolt back down you, on each side. It's really a, a five minute chain adjustment. Yeah, just uh, uh, Jill and I hopped on mine and rode it from Connecticut to Florida in February in two days. It was 90 to 100 miles an hour the whole way to keep up with traffic. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'd never done it on 95 before, but the bike never, mine never skipped a beat. And I would say this is exactly the same motorcycle. It would do the same thing. Uh, fantastic. With that great D&D, uh, American-made D&D, Fort Worth, Texas. Sounds amazing. Exhaust. Yeah, yeah. Those were used on race bikes. Uh, you know, really uh, does nothing but enhances the bike. Has a beautiful throaty sound. It does. You know, yeah. And the finish on these bikes, you know, uh, mine have gone through the, the test of time. This bike has the original finish on it. It's never been molested. You can tell the fairing. Uh, it, the screws on the fairing haven't pulled the graphics back like mine have. You know, this is just all down to the details. This this machine is really second to none. Great example of how old did you say it was? 
2000, so it's 23 years old. 23 year old motorcycle. It looks like it just rolled out of the showroom. Fantastic. No signs of wear anywhere on it. Uh, you know, it's just, it's fantastic. It's been here, you know, for quite a while now, has it? Yes, uh, uh, Gerard's had it on display in the museum here for a few years. Right. The, the, sh the Kiaba shocks are something special too. Huh? Oh, they are full. Yeah, they're adjustable and, uh, you know, uh, it's just all the components suit this bike just well, very well. You know, the carburetors, this has been gone through by the Manic Mechanic, hasn't yes, it? micro drilled. Yeah, the, you know, the pilots have been micro drilled and uh, it, it runs. And even Jeff was re remarking how nicely this bike runs. He, he, he fired it up just like this. He said, listen to how nice that idles, you know. And, and Super crisp up off the bottom. You know, th this is way better I, than I just, my own. I just gotta say one thing. I just gotta say one thing. I, this bike, I got to ride this before Gerard bought it, and it didn't run this good until Jeff tuned the car. <laughs> I just believe that. It sounds that, yeah. better than it did a few years ago, yep. man. Super Jeff's crisp off dial. the bottom. Yeah, and, and Jeff remarked that you know how nicely it uh, does run. Hang on, guys, because Billy's gonna give you a little riding demo in a second here, so you can, you can hear it eat a little bit. <laughs> right, right. The street for sure. It sounds so good. It's just wheelie on command, basically, right? That's right. Yeah, I try not to do that, but you can't help it once in a while, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's really exciting when you're going down a back road and there's a little bit of a drop away bump and you roll down the throttle. The front end will just loft a little bit. You know, it's not unsafe and it's a very nice feeling. It sure is. You know, I can't get enough of that, really. I might be a little bit shallow, but for me, when I buy a bike, uh, maybe some people think it's a shallow, but I gotta like the way it looks. And I've always loved the Eddie, original Eddie Lawson and then this one, the replica, um, the quarter fairing, the, the metallic green paint with the gold badge and the gold pinstriping and the purple. It's just, it pops. The, the, the Classon badges on it, I call it Classon badges, the aircraft quality uh, gas fuel cap on here, the, the blacked out handlebars, the black forks, the way the gold full floating rotors and the Tokiko six piston calipers, the, the way the colors all play together, the, the, the gold and the green. It's got a, a gold, upgraded gold chain on it, the, the stainless exhaust, just an absolute diamond. I don't want to belabor it, but you know, this is one of those bikes that's gonna stand the test of time. It's never gonna get old. This is, will always look nice. Some bikes kind of, you know, time out, you know, so I've seen enough of that. I don't think you could ever have enough of this. Like know. a Porsche 911 or something, it's, it's a timeless design. It will always stay on that uh, mark for sure. Liquid cooled, just a fantastic piece. This one has a uh, been upgraded with a zero gravity black smoked shield on there. Yeah, and that's really a nice. proper uh, you know period upgrade. Um, and zero gravity makes the best screens on the planet. C can you uh, give us a quick demo of uh, of it going through the gears, please? Yeah, let me <laughs> get my helmet. And, All right, uh, probably a good idea, huh? Yeah, good idea. <laughs> I won't have to ask you twice, will I? All right. no, not at all. <laughs> so yeah, guys, this, this thing is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Um, the fit and finish, the tension and detail that Kawasaki put into this bike. The little things like the blue uh, fork caps here, you don't even notice that until you, um, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's more than a sum of the parts. Billy, is this original saddle on this? Original saddle. That is? Yes. I, it's beautiful. I, it really is perfect. Condition. It looks like a custom saddle, doesn't it? It, it really does. Look, show them the piping on this saddle. I was like, that. it's freaking cool. Yeah, and the, and the way it is really well designed. I'm going to apologize for my helmet. It's kind of filthy, but it still has the insects on it from the Isle of Man. Never wash that helmet. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to wash it. It's got all my uh, inspection stickers from the, the Manx Grand Prix. Wow. The Isle of Man. So, uh, you know, it's a classic. I'm going to keep it just as it is. In fact, it's going to get shelved soon. And our buddy Albert, actually, uh, when he left Cycle Gear, he went to work for HJC, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yep. Albert LaPlante. Yes, he did. Albert, my good friend. Well, let me take a little spin. Tell us what you think, sir. Oh man, this thing is beautiful. 
you know, it, it backfired a little bit when I downshifted, and that's because I just went on reserve. So it was running lean. I switched it over to the main, the uh, reserve tank, and we're good to go. No more popping. Just that one pop. But it's uh, this thing is like a brand new motorcycle. It runs beautifully, and I love it. I'd love to take it home tonight, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> All right, definitely. There right, we go. Give us some, give us some more demo. All right.